सो हाई गाइज आई एम रूपाली एंड वन सेकेंड वी आर लाइव विद यू और आज हमारे साथ एक बहुत ही स्पेशल गेस्ट आज हमारे साथ थी शालिम के और कुछ ही देर में वो हमारे साथ लाइव जुड़ने वाली है और हम उनसे खूब सारी ढेर सारी बात करेंगे शी इज़ अ वेरी ग्रेट सिंगर बहुत अच्छी आवाज़ है शालम की और हम उनसे ढेर सारी बात करने वाले हैं उनके गाने भी सुनेंगे तो आप कुछ भी उनकी आवाज़ में सुनना चाहते हैं तो प्लीज़ मुझे मैसेज करिए आप कमेंट सेक्शन में आप मैसेज कर सकते हैं तो शगन हमारे साथ जल्दी ही जुड़ेंगी कुछ ही देर में तो गाइस कैसे हैं आप लोग और हाय अरविंद आई एम फाइन हाउ आर यू अरविंद हाय सुमित थैंक यू आप के आवाज में तो आप मैसेज कर सकते हैं शनन की बात करें तो शी इज अ वेरी गुड सिंगर और कुमार शानू जी की बेटी है हाय भूकेप यस यस ऑल ज्वाइन अस हाय देयर हाय हाय शनन हाउ आर यू You know, we're just trying to stay safe and stay protective, and not not really go out as much as we used to. Um, hmm. So yeah, overall, it's it's going. We're just trying to survive. <laughs> yeah, because they're the, actually you're stuck there only at home, right? You're not in India. No, I'm not. I'm I'm stuck here at home. <laughs> so so, uh, Shadan, first of all, I ask you that how how come uh, into singing? Like, what was it? Was it childhood? and you want to come in the singing or what was it um i'd say it was always um a part of me because you mm-hmm. know my dad is such a big singer and um mm-hmm. i feel like it was a hobby at first and um, i wasn't really uh you know serious about it but as as soon as i you know got into more music and i i learned from royal music of london I decided hmm. that okay this is probably something that I could you know see myself in the future and from then I started to like you know get more interested and fascinated about music and learn and um hmm. and yeah So what was the passion behind it like because from childhood you was uh, seeing your father is is a great singer so it was that something yeah it was something else like no I have to go into singing or something No, I mean it was just it started off with a hobby, you know, like in music and mm-hmm. and especially I mean obviously listening to dad. Um and mm-hmm. I remember going to like his recording sessions and just sitting there and watching him uh record songs and everything and it was really fascinating for me and I always wanted to do that um be like mm-hmm. him. And mm-hmm. um as I grew older I started to listen to um you know the legends out here like Whitney Houston, Mariah uh, Carey, Celine Dion. and um i just kind of knew that i wanted to you know try and sing um mm. and also because like music is so therapeutic and it's you just a very powerful um you know element to to have and yes. and yeah i just wanted to kind of sing mm. uh i think uh, i have heard in an interview that kumar sir has listened once in when in the childhood your titanic song Mm-hmm. and he was just surprised by your voice so uh, will you would just sing the two lines what was it sure when i in my dreams i see you i feel you that is how i'm going to me Will stay forever. 
my god so amazing wow thank you so much lovely voice this Mm. Thank you. So, uh, so what was his reaction? What was uh, Kumar sir's reaction when he listened this voice? Actually, was obviously like really surprised and shook. Um, and you know, because I'm a very introvert person, and for me to mm. like something that nobody had expected, especially you know my family members. So when I first sang the song, and it's such a it's such a big song, you know, and I mean mm-hmm. I was obviously nervous, but he was just amazed, and he he knew that I, there's there's something there's a little spark in me, um, and I just had to like you know improve myself and polish myself, and and he gave me mm-hmm. a couple of advices and everything, but I feel like if he if that day he hadn't given me you know that um, that little um, suggestion or, or whatever it is, you know, um, then I wouldn't have known that I had this talent inside of me. So, um, yeah, I'm really happy about that. So uh, this tell about your childhood journey, like you joined Royal School of, uh, London. Uh, what was your age that time? Uh, I mean, I was pretty young. I was like um, 10, 11. Um, oh my god. And yeah, mm. and so I just started like, you know, learning properly and and doing all the fun. Wow, that's great because uh, actually it's it's very early. It's 10 11 years. It's very uh, childhood, very 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 uh, you know, very young. Yeah. Yeah, I'm um, I'm actually 18. I just, you know, I I graduated from high school last year. So mm. it was it was like a lot more um you know focusing on studying in school because that's what my parents priorities were and then finally i you know i'm out of like high school so now i can totally focus on music yeah mm. uh shouldn't you are a very good dancer also right sort of <laughs> i mean i used to dance yeah. but then i just yeah, stopped yes. i was like I'm you dance so well So you dance really so well. I've seen your videos somewhere, and uh, you're a good singer also. So, uh, so you don't don't want to go into dancing or anything? No, no, only in singing. Um. Well, I mean, not just like just singing. I'm I'm trying to like you know have my doors open for every opportunity. I mean, I mm-hmm. love doing like the artistic field, whatever it is, like music, dancing, acting. Um. And so and so yeah, I've actually recently acted. um in a feature film um over here oh, in Hollywood great. so yeah so um it's really cool and um yeah i mean i'm i'm just really excited to go back to dancing again um i'm not sure how that will be but yeah and surely i'm going to watch that video seriously oh thank you <laughs> <laughs> so which was your first collaboration like which, which was your first song which you did Um, my very first song was with Pooh Bear, who is Justin Bieber's mm. uh, super songwriter and producer, and um, and yeah, I mean it was just one of the best days in my life. I think it was. And I like, think it it went forty to fifty billion sites. It was something yeah. like. Oh. Yeah, it's incredible. I mean, it, it's just incredible how, you know, people reacted and to to the video and to the song, um, and it was just wonderful to see that. um and working with Pooh Bear himself was was just such a pleasure you know and and I got to learn a lot as an artist and a songwriter um and he's so humble and sweet and um and yeah I truly had a lot of fun great so fans are just uh, doing they're messaging this can you just sing that two lines okay sure mm-hmm. how long is a long time Don't tell me forever. Don't let the color fade away from the light. How long is a long time? Feels like I've been waiting all my life. Oh, feels like I've been waiting all my life. Oh. How long is a long time? How long is it? Thank you. Wow, great! You see, you're so amazing. Thank you. <laughs> okay, uh, what about the Bollywood debut? Like, I think uh, you have done with Himesh one song. Uh, 
long before. So how was it? What was your experience there? Um, it was actually quite weird. Um, I think it was last year. Um, I went down to India mm. for um to do my music video shoot there, and mm. um, yeah, I mean, all of a sudden, Mr. You know, Mr. Rashamia heard my song, he liked my mm. voice, and mm. he gave me the opportunity to sing in his uh, movie, which is Happy Heart in Here, and the song mm. title is um, Doogie. And it was mm. just amazing. It was another experience for me because I didn't know. Hindi or Punjabi, um, so mm. so yeah, it was it was really cool, but I had a lot of fun. Ah, fans are messaging one Hindi song of Kumar Sanu. So can yeah, you can uh, sing that. two lines for uh, one Hindi song of uh, Kumar Sanu, sir? So can you sing two lines? Oh yeah, sure. All right. So mm. one of my favorite song of his is Jab Koi Baat Bigar Jai. Um, oh, my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> जब कोई बात बिगड़ जाए जब कोई मुश्किल पड़ जाए तुम देना साथ मेरे हम न कोई है न कोई था जिंदगी में तुम्हारे सिवा wow so melodious seriously thank you Are we do I am thinking to do 2 3 hours live and just just listen your voice after 5 5 minutes. <laughs> oh thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Seriously so nice. Uh so Sunan I think you did with the uh, this uh, Sunan you did a song with Chan. Mhm. Yes, I um sorry could you say it again I you got a little uh Yes, you work. You sing with a song with Sonu Nigam and Shan also, no? Mhm. Yes, I did collaborate mm. with um, Mr. Nigam mm. and Mr. Shan mm. um, on one of my songs. Um, so with Mr. Nigam, it was just like again, it was just you know mm. out of the blue because I sent him a song and he really liked it. He liked my voice, and you know I think that was like the opportunity for me to just go in and ask him if he would mm. want to you know come on board and collaborate with me on that song. and mm-hmm. um and yeah like fortunately he said yes and i was like okay that's great that's awesome mm-hmm. and so uh, he came down to la uh for some work and that's when we met and then he sang the song um and yeah it was just incredible working with him mm-hmm. great so actually uh, you know fans are very excited to see you with your father like i think once you collaborated with your father also no kumar's uh, some song mm mm-hmm. Yeah, it was uh just one time because I was pretty nervous, you know, it was like back when I was I don't know, 13, 14. Mm-hmm. Um and so yeah, it initially the song wasn't mine. It was supposed to be a rapper um you know, singing it, but um so for some reason it, it got changed and so that was again my opportunity to go and beg my dad to like please mm-hmm. let me sing with you. and i know mm-hmm. like you know it, it's probably like a lot of pressure to sing with such a big legend and i had to like top that but um but yeah he believed in me and he was like okay all right you got to sing you got to like write your own lyrics and um yeah and and from there i was like okay i'm just going to try my best to like not mm-hmm. you know ruin it in in any way and so yeah i i worked with him and again it was really cool <laughs> so it was a hindi song Um it was actually a fusion so he sang in Hindi and I sang in English. Um okay. and yeah, it was really cool. What what was this song? These two lines. Um all right, so it's called Magical. Hmm. Um You make me smile. Yeah. Yeah. 
Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Wait. So, uh, Shannon, how is your bonding with your sister? She's very close to you. Yeah, she is. She is younger than me, but she behaves older than me. Um, oh. <laughs> she's, yeah, she's, I mean, she's a very mature uh, young lady, but at the same time, she's like, you know, she's just so 16. So, um, so yeah, so we have mm. a lot of um, bonding together. I mean, we obviously fight a lot, especially, um, you know, when it, it, when it comes to music, because she's like always mm. precise and particular about certain things. And I'm like, no, I want to be like, you know, a little bit more creative mm. and things. So, so we have our little arguments, but at the end of the day, we, you know, she brings out the best in me. So, so that's what I, what I love about her. So, yeah. <laughs> Great. So, uh, who is your inspiration, Shannon? Um, my inspiration, besides my dad, is, hmm. um, you know, the the legends, of course, like Whitney Houston and Celine Dion. Um, I I've always like I grew I've grown up listening to them, and um, and it's I mean it's my dream to like, you know, just be where they are at, and and hmm. just achieve and and success. And um, and succeed in whatever you know they they did. So so yeah. So you have collaborated with many people in uh, many albums you have seen. So which was your favorite or which was your more challenging? Um, which collaboration? Uh, Ali collab. You did many collaborations. So which was more challenging? Mm, I'd say like each collaboration was. Um, you know, challenging on its own because, um, you know, whether it was like with, with my dad or Pooh Bear, it's totally different, you know, it's a different zone, uh, different style, genre, environment. So it has always helped me a lot to um, improve myself as an artist and be, you know, diverse and, and bring out like different varieties from, from within and see if I'm able to do that. Um, so yeah, I mean, I've always had really fun to to collaborate with producers or artists because you get to learn a lot from them, and you get to see you know like things that you share in common, and things that you like, and and the end product that you create, um, which is really wonderful. So great. So uh, Shannon, which Bollywood actor or actress you want to sing for? Any favorite? Uh, I'd say it is like. It's going to be absolutely a dream come true if I could sing for Deepika Padukone. Um, oh, great. Is... And actor? Actor? <laughs> I don't really know. <laughs> um, I got, I'm got. i so obsessed with like Deepika that I, I, I haven't really noticed on the actor as much. But, mm -hmm. um, but definitely like Deepika is, you know, at the top of the list. And I, it, again, it would just be incredible if I could sing for her. Oh, great. So any, any uh, like uh, you're coming for different projects and everything. So any plan for coming in the movies, Bollywood movies? Uh, mm. I think I have to work on my Hindi first. Um, mm -hmm. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I'm always down for, you know, really cool, like, um, things, whether it's like working in Bollywood for acting or singing in Bollywood. Um, I'm always down for it. So, so yeah, maybe in the future. Hmm. So I uh, I just read somewhere that you are uh, somewhere uh, connected with the Noble Cause for Cancer Association something. So just share what it is. Mm -hmm. Um. So it's this uh you know cancer charity for um mm -hmm. for girls, and um and yeah I mean I had you know the the opportunity to do something really great for for them so I donated my hair. Uh, to the charity, and I feel like, you know, doing something noble for, you know, for the, for the society or for the environment or mm. animals, it's something that's really, um, you know, beautiful, and, and that's what makes me happy. I know it may sound a little cringy, but, but that, you know, that's what's something that puts a smile on my face when I do something good for others and for the world, so, so yeah. Great. Acha, who is your favorite singer apart uh, from your father? Bollywood singer. Ooh, Bollywood singer. 
Um, I have like, I have loads actually. <laughs> I'd say, <laughs> I mean, obviously I have, um, you know, Mr. Sonomega, Mr. Sean. Um, I do like uh, Arjit Singh and I love um, Miss Alka Yagnik and uh, Shreya Ghoshal. I think these, you know, mm. these, these people are like absolutely amazing and talented. Great. So, any two lines for you from your favorite singer? Bollywood? <laughs> <laughs> They're Hollywood. Like, you can mix Hindi and Hollywood both. Oh my gosh, you really put me on the spot now. All right. Uh, <laughs> man, I don't know. I mean, I'm not really good at, like, Bollywood songs for my dad because, like, I'm still learning. <laughs> Um, and I know I'm gonna like get in trouble for pronouncing it wrong. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know. Do you have any song requests? <laughs> you know, actually, all our favorite songs, Bollywood or Hollywood, you can sing Hollywood also, it will be okay, no problem. Your favorite okay. Hollywood song. Um, Okay, so I can sing uh, one of Adele's songs. I mean, I love Adele. Mm -hmm. So, all right, here it goes. There's a fire starting Reaching a fever vision Bringing me out of the dark Finally, I can see you crystal clear Go ahead and tell me out and I'll lay your shit bare See how I live with every piece of you Don't underestimate the things that I would do There's a fire starting in my heart Reaching a fever fishing, bringing me out the dark Stars of your love remind me of us They keep me thinking that we almost had it all The scars of your love, they leave me breathless I can't help feeling we could have had it all Rolling in the deep You have my heart inside of your hands And you played it to the beat. Thank you. Wow, it's fantastic. Wow. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, Shinil, uh, what advice uh, you will give to the singers, newcomer singers who are coming here, yeah, who wants to go into, into singing on? What what advice you will give them? Um, so there's a, I mean there's a little slogan that I've um, you know that really impacted me as a as a person. Mm -hmm. And I want to share that to all the, you know, all the aspiring artists out there is to, is that, you know, you were made for a reason to shine. And so no matter what people say, you know, you always um, should believe in yourself and you should believe in your talent because there's nobody else who's going to believe in you as much as yourself. Um, and you just got to stay positive and keep going because trust me, even I, um, you know, I didn't get no VIP treatment over here, you know, because mm -hmm. nobody knows my dad except for the Indian community out here. But so, you know, it was, again, a lot of struggle that I had to face. Um, and, you know, as an artist, it's always hard to kind of like um, prove yourself every now and then and um, face a lot of, you know, racism and, and such in, in the business. So, so it's mm -hmm. definitely really hard. But as as long as you believe in yourself and your talent and you're passionate about it and you know uh, that you can go further, you know, with it, um, that's all that matters, to be honest. I think passion is most important. If you are passionate for anything, you can do anything. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, that's that's something mm -hmm. that, you know, drives you to, to that destination um, to be, mm -hmm. you know, really passionate about your talent and your craft. So Shannon, in the last, I just want to ask it, uh, like from uh, childhood you are you are singing and you are practicing and everything. So how happy you are means you feel proud because see you have uh, turned to a very good stage like you are 18 and still you are you're collaborating with many big people and everything. So how do you feel? What is your reaction? Um, You know, I always feel like I'm in a dream because it's just incredible to be able to work with um, 
you know, such great talented people and to be surrounded by that. Um, yeah, I mean, it was always my dream to, to, to be at this, uh, at this stage to be an artist. Um, obviously, again, like I said, I had to like, you know, go through a lot of hurdles and struggles. And um, there was a time where I went down in depression and I self pound and um, it was just a very bad phase that I went through. But fortunately, I had my family support, um, you know, who brought me back, who always supported me and encouraged me to, to just keep working. And obviously, my fans out there who love me so much and, you know, who give me such great feedback. Um, so, so that's all, you know, these things really matter a lot as long as you're, like, positive and, and you know, um, encouraged by someone and motivated. Um, so, yeah, and I feel truly, truly blessed to be able to, um, you know, not just share my music, but to be able to collaborate and create music with, with such beautiful people. And I cannot wait for the future um, to see what, what the future has for me. Thank you. I'll uh, just uh, share about your upcoming projects. What are your upcoming projects? All right. So um, I have this new uh, single coming out soon, hopefully this year. <laughs> um, oh, great. And, yeah, it's called Knock Knock. And it's about this. Um, it's all about, like, you know, showing your culture and ethnicity and roots. Mm -hmm. And so for this um, song, I went down to Jaipur especially to shoot at the Mendota Palace and Fort. So you're going to wow. be able to see a lot of Indian heritage and culture. And I wore this, you know, amazing traditional um, outfit. So I'm really excited for my fans to see um, this, you know, different new version of me. <laughs> And apart from that, I got to sing um, three songs in this really cool, um, you know, web series uh, from Z5, and it's called Casino. Okay. So, um, right. again, I'm really excited for people to hear that, and I hope they like it. Oh, yes, sure. So, uh, Channel, thank you for coming live with us, and all the best to you, and uh, just be safe, and so happy to see you. Thank you. So Thank much. you and take care and bye. And once once you come to India, we'll definitely meet. Oh yes, for sure. I am yes. definitely <laughs> coming down to India to meet you. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much and love you. Bye. Thank you. Love you too. Take care. Stay safe. Bye. Bye bye.